Good evening. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the Chancellor, Vice, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, special guests, guests, uh, but most importantly, the graduates. It is an honour and a privilege to stand here as the valedictorian tasked with speaking on your behalf. Uh, now, I must admit, when I got a, a phone call from the graduations office a couple of weeks back asking if I would like to be the valedictorian of today's ceremony, um, being an athlete first and foremost and a student second to that, I'd ask for an explanation on what a valedictorian was. <laughs> yeah, we had a bit of a laugh uh, at the naivety of my question, uh, but once the role got explained to me, I quickly found uh, that my joy and laughter turned into panic. And, uh, you know, I played in front of many thousands of fans um, in, in multiple sports uh, in some of the most high pressure situations, but to be honest, uh, you know, delivering a speech on behalf of the graduates today, it was. Um, sent me into a bit of a panic, so bear with me as I try and do uh, the amazing academic achievements some justice. Firstly, on behalf of the graduates, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all the people who made today possible. To our families, friends, fellow students, partners and children, thank you for supporting us and for being there for us when we'd been stressed out with assignment deadlines, stressed out with the enormity of our lives, and overloaded with work duties. If not for your unconditional support, love, kindness, patience, and comfort, graduating today would not have been possible, so thank you. I would also like to give a massive thank you to USQ on behalf of this year's graduates, from the students' relations officers to the academic staff. Your dedication to our learning journey is greatly appreciated, and like the support of our family and friends, today would not have been possible without your help, so thank you. I would also like to pay special mention to the decisions that university has made during the current pandemic. The conditions handed to us by the virus forced most, most facets of life, including uni life, to adjust. And the decisions that the university made on our behalf over the last year and a half allowed us all here, the graduates, to stay on track for graduation. So thank you very much. Now, uh, being a Bachelor of Science graduate, uh, I figured my speech wouldn't hold much weight um, unless I'd included a statistic or some form of research. Um, so I'd like to either inform or remind you, and I'm talking to the graduates behind me mainly, just about how great an achievement uh, graduating from university is. According to a study out of Harvard, by graduating today, you become run one of roughly 520 million, 25 million people in the world who have graduated from university. Now, when you consider the global population is roughly 7.2 billion, you just become one of only 6.2% of the global population to achieve this feat. Pretty amazing if you ask me, so well done. <laughs> According to another study uh, by a university research centre, the dropout rate for undergraduate students is 40%. And during the current pandemic, it has risen to as much as 20% in some cohorts around the world. Now, of course, there are many factors that can be entirely out of the individual's control which can deter someone from pursuing either their studies or goals or dreams that they're chasing. However, there are many factors within our control that can deter us from chasing our dreams also. Case in point, the initial fear I had on speaking on your behalf today. But like that fear, and I'm sure like many of the obstacles we have all faced along the way to graduation, a lot of the time those fears are merely a mirage, often invalidated as, invalidated as we have found out by acts of curiosity, courage, right action and perseverance. So as we all venture forward into the world, whether that be as a youthful graduate looking for a start in a new career, or a mature graduate like myself aiming to advance our existing careers, let's not forget the utility of our skills and support mechanisms that got us here today. Let's move forward with confidence that our skills are tried and tested in an arena that only 6.2% of the world's population have succeeded in. And based off this evidence, let's continue to courageously chase our dreams and remember to greet every obstacle with a smile, knowing full well that we've conquered many like it before. Thank you, congratulations once again. <laughs> 